So welcome back to the second part of this week's Yoga Flow uh, here in the uh, yoga room at La Selva MMA here in Wichita, Kansas. So let's come back, let's inhale, reaching out through the hands. Exhale, folding forward. Nice forward fold here. So planting the hands, we're going to step back to down dog. Nice big stretch, reaching down through the heels. Lengthening the spine, pressing out to the top of the head. Good, let's come down to all fours here. Walking the hands back, coming to child's pose for a moment. Good, looking up, coming back to all fours. We're going to extend the right leg out behind us, turn into our right, and bring the right arm up for a modified side plank. So reaching up through the fingertips. Nice smooth breath. Good, releasing the hand down. We're going to switch sides now. So extending the left leg out behind us. Starting to our left, bringing the left hand up. So reaching out through those fingertips, reaching out through this back heel, creating some length in the body. Okay, let's come back to center. Once more on each side, so extending out through that right leg, bringing the right hand up. And this time we're going to put the palm face down and reach out over our head. So you should feel a nice big stretch here along the sideways, between the top of the waist and the bottom of the ribs. Good, let's switch sides. Last time on the other side. So pressing out through that left heel, bringing the left palm up, reaching out in front of your head. Good. So reaching out through the heel and reaching out over your head, stretching, pulling, lengthening. Good, coming back to center. So tucking the toes under, lifting the hips up to down dog, taking a breath here. Okay, let's walk the feet halfway and to the outside edge of the mat, just wider the hips distance apart. And we're going to come down into yogi squat. So if you want to, you can put your arms inside your knees. If this is too difficult for you to get your feet flat, you can just stay here on the balls of your feet until you get a little bit more flexibility in your feet, which kind of practice. So once you're here, this is more of a hip opening that we're working on. But if you're able to get the feet flat, go ahead and do that. So you'll notice in this pose too that your breath becomes a little bit constricted when you're doing diaphragmatic or belly breathing. So you're going to have to learn, your body will teach you how to keep the breath a little bit more shallow in the chest. Good. So coming into crow, um, for those of you that know how, feel free to do it. I'll walk you through it if you don't. We're going to place the hands, fingers spread wide on the mat in front of us, squeezing the knee into the tricep or the outside of the arm, and the arm is squeezing back into that. So you're creating a real uh, springboard type effect there. So squeezing, we're going to rock up onto the balls of our feet, and maybe this is where you hang out for a while until you feel comfortable. When you start to feel more comfortable here, you can rock your body forward and lift your hips up. So maybe that's where you hang out. Your choice. So once you're here, get comfortable. Start lifting through the hips, lifting through the abdomen. You can try lifting one foot and then the other. And when you feel comfortable, then you can try lifting both feet. Make sure you're looking out in front of you on your mat and not directly down between your hands. So try and crow a couple of times here and work on not holding the breath in this pose, as we all tend to do. 
to be keeping it free flowing in and out through the nostrils. Good, relax and back down. And one more time in crew to practice the breathing part. Coming up when you need to. Nice big inhale and exhale. Good, coming down, we'll come down to seated. So extending the right leg out, we're gonna hug the left knee in. Left knee, left arm. We're gonna bring our right hand around behind us. And a nice little twist. Good, Let's come back to center, we'll switch sides. So straightening the left leg, bringing the right knee in, hugging it in with your right arm. Left hand comes around behind us. And another nice little twist as you exhale. Good, release them. So let's come to forward fold. So pressing down through the sit bones, pressing out through the bottoms of the feet, sitting up nice and straight, lifting the heart. And just walking your hands out so you meet resistance. So if you start to come here, yeah, you look like you're really flexible, but you're really putting a lot of strain on the mid-back. And while it's okay to do that sometimes, I don't recommend it all the time. So instead of coming here, you're going to bring your belly button to your spine. So you're going to lengthen through the top of the head. And now you're going to bring your heart forward. And see how much further that made me back off of my stretch? I can get it to here like this. Yeah, that's great. But I'm struggling and resisting and contracting in a lot of different parts of my body to get there. So the key is come into proper alignment first, back off to go deeper. So i got to back off a little bit, but I'm definitely getting a much deeper stretch safely in this pose that way. And you can hold this pose as long as you like, 10, 15 breaths, and start to inch your hands out in front of you with each exhale if you like. Good, let's walk the hands back. And let's bring the balls of the feet together, heels apart. Doing that helps us get a deeper stretch into the hip flexors. And again, you can just hold your ankles here, sitting up nice and tall. Good, exhale, folding forward. Again, if you find yourself coming too far forward, sometimes that feels good to do just as a little stretch. But I really think it's best to belly button the spine, lengthen through the head, and exhale slowly come forward. Good, let's bring the knees. So let's bring the knees together and then feet up for half boat. So holding here. Grab the back to your knees, you can do that, or hold here. We're just going to do some elbow touch backs. What I mean by that, you're just going to bring the right elbow back. If you can touch the mat, fine. If not, that's okay. We're just going to bring it back just enough for you to start to feel that in your abs. So you're going to exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Good, so let's grab the big toes, the first two fingers, 
We're going to rock back, find a place of balance. So if this is your pose, then stay seated here. And just balance here, holding your legs here. If you feel a little bit more comfortable, you can open it up a little bit. If you're feeling really comfortable, you can open the legs. Just try not to round the shoulders up when you do it. You want to lift through the heart, pull the shoulders away from the ears. I press the balls of the feet into the hands. Good. Let's bring the feet together back to half bow. Good. So now we're going to extend the right leg out and the left leg up. Do a little scissoring here. So pressing out through the heels. Really contracting from here, trying to hold this nice and tight. One more on each side. Good. Half boat again, bringing the knees bent, feet together. Good. Let's interlace our fingers, pointing your index fingers, keeping the big toe balance together. We're going to inhale, come down. And exhale, feet together, knees come open. Inhale, reaching out for the feet, coming down onto the back. And exhale, bring it, keeping the feet together, opening the knees. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Two more. Good, so extend the legs out. And start to take a nice gentle stretch here. Yeah, let's inhale, reaching up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, running the hands up the legs, reaching up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, running the hands up towards the body. And up. Palms together, hands to your heart. Taking a moment to center ourselves here. Good. So bending the knees, we're going to come on to our backs. Roll down nice and gently. And extending the left leg out, bringing the right knee across. Good. Coming back to center, we're going to switch sides. Bringing this left knee across the right side. So after a couple of breaths here, I'm going to go ahead and come back to center and relax into Shavasana. I hope you all have a happy weekend. For more tips or if you'd like to see a certain yoga pose or video, feel free to contact me through my website, angieyoga.com and warrior2yoga.com. Namaste.